One million pounds of extra garbage will be filling thousands of curbs in downtown Madison beginning next week. As August moving days roll in, city leaders are urging residents to donate what they can and keep usable items out of the landfill. Tahalil Mohuddin spoke with members of the city's streets division about this push, and she joins us live with more on their efforts. Eric and Charlotte, even though moving days haven't officially kicked off yet, we can already see people taking their unwanted items to the street. But city leaders say just because those items are no longer wanted by their owners doesn't mean they don't have value elsewhere. In the same area on the same days, more than 20,000 people are either moving in or out. It's just so much stuff that winds up getting put out to the curb right now. As apartment leases change over, a tidal wave of couches, desks and mattresses will line the streets around campus. So that's just not just a million pounds extra to the landfill, but that's a million pounds our folks have to pick up. Brian Johnson says Streets Division staff will do their part to clean it all up, but they want people's help doing what they can't. It's time and speed for us to collection as well and the vehicles that we have too. Our trucks are garbage trucks. So anything in the back of that is going to get crunched. He says a lot of what gets thrown away really doesn't belong on their trucks. Why are we wasting these resources? Why are we wasting that landfill space just because like uh, it's just so hard to call? There definitely is a demand. Thrifting is a huge thing. Um, people of all ages like to thrift because they know they're saving this, this item from being uh, put in a landfill. Goodwill's Jill Carlson says donated items also allow them to continue their community service. Employment programs which benefit uh, people with uh, disabilities and barriers to employment and they also go to our supported housing. And for items they deem not fit to sell, they have a place for them too. Through responsible recycling, we've been able to keep uh, 16 million pounds of materials out of local landfills each year. So before putting anything out on the curb, the streets division wants you to put in a little effort. If you think it can be used again, there's no harm in at least calling some of these thrift store places to see if they want what you have. Leaders say you should also avoid putting electronics on the curb and instead drop them off at their recycling sites. But if you happen to leave them on the curb, they will pick them up but will charge a penalty fee. To Halil, thank you very much. For more details on pickup, best practices, and donation opportunities, visit the Streets and Recycling website.